Hello and welcome to a new video about my my scale, my, my load cell here. Alright? So actually I wanted to, to make a scale out of this load cell. And I do want to I've, I'm using here some parts, yeah. This was just lying around at, at this was leftovers from previous projects. So I am going to mount this load cell now that way eh? because the force is showing in this direction and I'm going to mount this here mm. Mm. looking good mm. Alright, so I mounted the load cell now here. Here, here I should apply, apply the force. And I've also built something which looks, oh, looks really nice, right? <laughs> I got leftovers from an acrylic sheet and I made two holes in this. And now it looks, it looks like, yeah, it already looks neat. All right, so this is my scale, you see? Now, I could place a weight here, and this should actually work. This should actually work. Connect it to my Arduino again, plus and minus. Clock and data. Connected to here, and then we have a look at the computer. What we see, what loads we see. <laughs> All right. All right. So the computer. This is still the same program like last time. Just opening the serial monitor, and we should see values actually. If I replugged everything correct, starting up load cell, done. Load minus three, five, fifteen, thirteen. Six. Oh, it's drifting a little bit. Whatever this means. Huh? Place something on the... Ooh! I got a reaction. I don't know what this means. How much could this be? Maybe I should use something, some other scale. This seems to be more. And is it more? Yes, it's heavier. Yes, it's heavier. So at least. <laughs> the little load cell. What is the little load cell? Oh, it's tiny. Oh, it's tiny. <laughs> All right, how to calibrate this? I have to look into this. I have to look into this and explain afterwards. For me now, my scale is working, ready to go for calibration. And then I'm already eager to know how accurate those things are. Okay, up to here. Problem solved. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.